everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Jojo Palacio if you are not new thank you so much for coming back this on my channel we talk about all things beauty and today is no different we are talking about some first impressions here people okay I know that I go over my gratis every month with you guys but I kind of thought to myself like why don't you do a first impressions on your gratis so that people can see um, just because it's not always good that makes any sense like sometimes I'll pick out colors that aren't right like I did today or other times there are things that are not for combination skin and I have to kind of either figure out what to do with it use it on my kit for my clients or give it away to my sister who like loves that stuff so um, this is that I'm gonna keep this very short I am going under first impressions for this guy this is a forever undercover 24 hour by Dior this is um one of their newer foundations, I know they have this and they have the glow. Um, so first impressions, I have to stop myself from saying too much because y'all gotta watch the rest of the video, you know? And then the other thing I got to review was this. This is a Chanel um, concealer. I go into detail in the video about both of those guys. I will say that, very impressed. Um, I only do complexion in this video though guys so if you want to find out how I created this eye look I would sneak over to my Instagram stories my IGTV and check that out because I did do a mini tutorial on how to create this look on there so without further ado let's get started all right guys so I wanted to give you a first impression of a couple of things I got in my gratis and I feel like I'll do that every month just because I go over my gratis with you guys, but you never hear about it until like maybe it might pop up in a tutorial or two. So these are the two products that we're going to review today. So we have the Dior Forever Undercover 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 20. And I also have the Chanel Le Corrector in the shade 20 beige. So we'll see how these work out. Um, a lot of the times I don't necessarily get to... Um, pick the right color there's only certain things available so I'm excited because I feel like those are my colors um, so let's prep the face like usual we're gonna use this guy here this is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer I'm gonna put that in the center of my face as I've always said combination skin I like to have something mattifying in the midsection and then I am going to place this guy here this is the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer I'm going to put that all over the outer perimeter of my face. I want a glow, um, even though it is a mattifying foundation. I don't necessarily want to be super flat matte. I love to put something like this underneath it, a illuminator or an illuminating primer. Um, a lot of the times I'll use my MAC strobe cream under there just to kind of help me undo the balances I like matte because it's long wearing but I don't want to be super matte so that's that's a way to kind of get around that weird combination um, what I am going to do today is I'm gonna apply that my foundation with this guy here this is the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe JH03 I consider this more of like a kabuki brush it's definitely good for buffing the foundation and building coverage I'm gonna give this guy a good shake so this guy comes in like the form of a dropper Ooh whoa which I don't know how I feel about that but we'll figure that part out I'm gonna take about that much on the back of my hand and we'll start with that and I'm gonna start just working it into the brush first you always want to build it on the brush and then apply it great coverage a little bit goes a long way I feel like I'm a little too pale for this or this is a little too pale for me could have definitely gone darker but that's okay we know how to fix that coverage is a yes the finish is a yes the color might be a little too pale but that's okay we are going to fix that right up right now using my milk flex foundation stick i have this in the shade medium tan i love this to color correct but it is also a great cream bronzer so i'm going to put that in the shape of an e or a three in all the huge areas we're going to take my bh cosmetics number one brush and we're just going to work that in towards the hairline and this is definitely going to help to color correct a lot of that deepen it up a little bit so it's not so pale much better much better definitely helps with the color i'm just going to take a little bit on my bh cosmetics brush 
and I'm gonna work that down the neck a little bit and along the jawline too just to kind of help continue to color correct this is a foundation so we don't have to worry about it um, not having coverage or undoing the coverage that the foundation has it'll really just help to even things out so yeah that already looks so much better okay perfect so we are gonna move on and we're gonna go into this concealer I'm actually really excited about concealer um, Chanel was probably one of the first higher-end brands that I bought whenever I started getting into like actual higher-end makeup um, it was so expensive I went and got my makeup done for a wedding and I ended up buying the concealer the foundation mascara and like a liner I think or maybe the lipstick I don't know but um, we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna apply it this is definitely a smaller applicator than what we've been used to recently um, between the Too Faced or even the Elf or the Infallible we've been used to a larger applicator so that concerns me just because we might have to use more than what we're used to but we'll see how I feel I'm going to start off by applying it under the eye area forehead nose chin and then I also like to take it here I think this is more of like a satin finish type of concealer I didn't read dip we're going to start with one layer and see how I feel I'm going to start by working the forehead and the chin in very lightweight very very lightweight but I feel like it is a medium buildable coverage definitely not full again like the formula I just need a little bit more coverage here so let's use that not crazy about the coverage like I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not crazy about that coverage especially for how much the concealer is um, I feel like you'd have to use way too much but it's pretty it's good medium coverage and it's very lightweight so I'm gonna set that with my um, Mac studio fix and C2 I'm just gonna grab it on the sponge like so this color is gonna help brighten and maybe I'll get the coverage that I want by adding a little bit of that yeah and I just take my sponge and I swirl it right up against the compact and I pat it into the skin and build it right on there so the moisture of the sponge really helps the powder absorb as well as keep the powder on top of the sponge so that it can get worked into my skin okay so to kind of set that color correct but also definitely mostly set we're going to take that studio fix in c 5.5 and now i'm going to use it with my bh cosmetics v 11 brush we're going to just sweep that all over the face it'll help set it'll also deepen up our complexion a little bit because it's still looking a tad too pale but we're going to fix that with this so far guys those two are wearing really pretty um, the foundation is very lightweight on but the coverage was definitely there the concealer is very nice under the eyes it's not creasing it's not separating it is not heavy looking it's not matte it's not too like glowy it's really really pretty um, so let me finish up by bronzing contouring off of camera and then I'll come back on to kind of give you my final thoughts on these two products all right guys so this is the finished look um, if you do like this eyeshadow and the entire situation you can go to my IGTV and check out this eyeshadow look I posted it a few um, weeks back but above all the foundation and the concealer are really really pretty like they go on insane they look really pretty it's very lightweight on very natural so above all i give both of them a thumbs up they're jojo approved um, again i'm in the shade 20 in the forever undercover the matte and i'm also in the shade 20 with the um chanel i would say maybe i'm not the 20 in the uh, dior i would probably jump up maybe two shades just because i want something with a little more color i had to color correct as i went along but i don't hate it um, the end result I do love I kind of would rather go lighter on the foundation and be able to warm it up versus um, be too dark 
But then to be fair, I did recently go tanning, so that's my fault, like go out to the beach in the pool. Um, so anyways, uh, that is it for today. I hope that you guys like this review on my gratis, kind of like a first impressions on the gratis. I plan on doing it more, like I said. Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram and my YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. I post every Wednesday and every Saturday of the week as well as my Instagram. I do a lot of IGTV mini series. There's a lot behind the scenes. I'm very interactive with you guys on there. So I hope to see you guys there, here, everywhere soon. I'll see you guys later.